Paradise Season 11, Episode 2, Neville and his team are stumped over a golf course murder, while things between Neville and Florence are at an all-time awkward. Meanwhile, Sergeant Naomi Thomas learns more about Marlon's past, and Florence is faced with a big decision. So, Megan, we're in the thick of it now. Episode 2, what did you think? Episode 2 had me absolutely hooked. I had no idea what was going to happen throughout the episode, and there were so many twists and turns, I honestly couldn't keep up. Well, fortunately, we're about to be joined by someone who knows all about the episodes and what's to come. So please welcome Taj Miles, who plays Marlon on the show. So Taj, (laughs) welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, We've just um, been chatting episode two and how obsessed we are with Death in Paradise. Like when you're reading the scripts for the first time, are you trying to work out the murderer just like we all are watching it? Funny enough, it's weird because like everyone knows that the last big scene is where Neville, you know, reveals everything. I actually don't always read that scene. I usually leave it as a surprise when we get on set. I and mean, when we do the first little line run, that's usually when I find out. But as I'm reading it, I'm like, oh, I think it was this person, or I think it was this person. <laughs> I have a rough idea, but I don't actually read who has done it until we get on set and I wait for Ralph to work his magic. And that's when I usually find out. I love that. That's like, because um, Marlon's kind of not entirely sure what's happening all the time. It's like you're really getting into character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to be a bit method there, yeah. This season, we're really seeing Marlon um, paired with um, Sergeant Naomi Thomas, who's a newcomer. How How is that? How are you finding that dynamic? It's really fun. It's a really, Marlon's had, um, I'd say, three partnerships now. One with JP, one with Dwayne, and now one with Naomi. Yeah. And three of them are different. Um, with JP, he was, you know, a, c- a criminal and didn't want to be a police officer. With Dwayne, um, he was just accepting that he wanted to be a police officer, wasn't too sure yet. And now with Naomi, he wants to be a police officer. So it's just three stages of his life with three different partners. And it's just really fun seeing all of these people have different relationships. And they also have different ways of working too, as Naomi is a bit like JP, but she doesn't have the experience that he had. So there is actually something Marlon can teach her. But at the same time, Marlon, isn't very experienced himself and there's a lot that Naomi can teach him so yeah there's, there's, a, there's a nice balance there with them too. This is probably completely the fangirl in me but like every time I see a new dynamic I'm like romance, romance. Like <laughs> I mean, is, that, is there any chance that's going to be a thing? I don't, I don't know I think it's a possibility I know Marlon is a bit of a cheeky chap he has got a bit of charm so it is a possibility for you know any female character that they connect him with that there could be something there with Marlon because he's just really cheeky but I think in the work environment I don't think he would go there. I think he wouldn't want to do anything or push any boundaries that might jeopardize this new job that he literally just got <laughs> that kept him out of jail. So I feel like in the work environment, he'll keep it professional, but outside of the office, who knows? You say you've, you've been with JP, um, you've been with Dwayne, and you have now with Naomi. Um, with Dwayne, how was it welcoming Danny John Jules back onto the set? Because, you know, he's such a um, veteran of Death in Paradise, really. It was really special, especially because um, I don't know if you've seen, there's a picture of me, Don and Danny from when I was like 14 years old. And um, when I met them at a, a, a Black Award show called Screen Nation Awards. Um, so to be on set with Danny and Don at the same time, while well, after we took that picture, how many years ago, was really special. But um, Danny, to me, like the godfathers of Devon Paradise are Don and Danny. Like those are the two you think of when you think of the show. Yeah. So to have him back, to have him back on the tour is special, but to be able to work with him so closely on set and have our characters just, which I know the fans have been asking for all over too. <laughs> Every time I go into it and see something, <laughs> season 10, we kind of work very similar, but we're very like impulsive with the choices we make, which made it really fun to work with him. Like kind of just bouncing off each other, throwing different ideas at each other, um, taking a mic out of each other quite a lot. Yeah, it was really, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun working with him. And um, obviously in this episode, like like you were saying earlier, so it's very different relationship with the three people that Marlon's paired with. And this is the first time in this episode that um, Naomi realizes like Marlon's past. So how was it? Cause, Cause that's, it's quite like sweet seeing him like a little bit vulnerable. Like how was it doing that? It was a really, when I first read it, I really did like that scene. Cause it's, I didn't really expect that. I thought he, wouldn't be proud of it, but I didn't think he'd be too worried to share that side of him because he's not a shameless kind of person. You kind of say, yeah, this is it. But to see that he actually was quite, not shy about it, but he was essentially ashamed of his past and he didn't want to come across the wrong way to someone like Naomi that is so proud of being a police officer, to takes pride in being a police officer. So yeah, it's just a new layer for Marlon, showing that he, you know, 
he values respect. He mm. wants to be respected by the people that he's working with. And since yeah. he's been so close with Naomi, he doesn't want her to know that side of him. He just wants to be a police officer and have that side of him to him. So one of the big things um, in the episode, obviously, is that um, Florence is sort of faced with a decision that she can go undercover, which, you know, looking at the next episode, she's definitely going to do. So <laughs> and presumably that means that Josephine wasn't as much on set as usual. Like, how was it? Like, did you did you guys miss her? Yeah, we did. it was weird because, you know, we might not have been a lot in, in, in the same scenes with each other, mm. but it's like a bubble on that set. It was strange. We knew we wasn't seen her as much as we used to but we still saw her quite a lot so it felt <laughs> as if everything was normal do you guys spend a lot of time together like outside of filming when you're um when you're over there when we can if if the covid restrictions let us to then we will take the opportunity to like me and ralph would always have a kick about um on a football pitch that's not far from where the crew stay in a hotel but yeah when, when we can we're always trying to do something i remember at the very start of the shoot when there wasn't as many restrictions. We went on a, a boat trip to a little neighbouring island that wasn't too far away. Um, oh, nice. Um, and coming up for the rest of season 11, is there any scenes with Marlon that you can tell us about? Anything you're particularly excited about? Um, the audience's reactions, that sort of thing? Yeah, um, well, there's a lot of moments of him and Naomi I think the audience will love. Um, both Romantic fun. moments? I won't go that far. <laughs> 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 In one episode, we get to meet um, a person from his past, someone that he used to one of his old work colleagues. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we get to meet someone that he was um, very close with and you know, see that dynamic now that he is working for the enemy essentially and she's um, involved in the investigation. So seeing, you know, what is that like now? She's working for the other side, but he still has that love and respect for this person. How does that work? Um, oh, that's yeah. gonna be so cool. Yeah, it's really, it's really cool, it's really cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us in our discussion for episode two. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next week. Bye.